Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to cover the topic of abuse. With everything that's going on around us and in the news, we can see that domestic abuse and domestic violence is on the rise. Of course, we're all stuck at home and if we're in an abusive situation, this is a perfect environment for the abuser to practice their power and control over you. So I just wanted to make you aware that when we think of abuse, we always think of the physical. So if there's no black eye or you haven't been beaten, you don't really associate the rest of it with abuse. But there are four or five different other types of abuse that I want to discuss and bring awareness to because you could be in that situation and you should definitely not be dealing with it alone. And there is help out there and you should definitely talk about it. Abuse is a pattern of behavior used by an individual to practice power and control over you and to maintain it. And that's done in so many different ways, not just physical. So obviously we know physical, it's if you're being hit, punched, kicked, pushed. Um, if your personal space getting invaded, that's also a type of physical abuse. But we know that, so I don't want to go too much into it. The second um, most recognizable um, type of abuse is sexual abuse. But that's something that, again, we know and it's very, very easy to recognize. But sexual abuse isn't just rape. So it's not if you've been raped, but also if you've made to feel uncomfortable, forced to do something. Consent is a must, even if you are in a relationship or you are married, um, then consent is the most important thing. It, rape could still happen within marriages and you need to be aware of your rights and you need to know that if you're forced or pushed to do anything that you feel uncomfortable with, that's not okay and you have a right to stand up for yourself and to say no. Now the third one is the one that I feel like is so damaging because physical wounds heal quicker than emotional wounds and emotional and mental abuse is the one that's the hardest to recognize for people that they're in an abusive relationship or an abusive situation because the abuser more times than none tries to make you feel like you're crazy they try and make you feel like the problem is with you and therefore you don't feel comfortable you feel like you're the problem and you feel guilty so the victim is made out to be um the perpetrator and therefore you don't really feel comfortable speaking to anybody or opening up about it because abusers love to isolate they use isolation as a tool so if they've got you alone and cornered then they can practice their utmost power and control over you and therefore separating you from your friends and family is the easiest way to do that so with emotional and mental abuse is the manipulation is gaslighting so if you've got if you're expressing how you feel or your emotions or you're talking about something your opinions and they're completely dismissed you're made to feel stupid you're made to feel belittled um you're not heard you're not being listened to, um, that's gaslighting. If um, things like manipulation, things like controlling your thoughts and feelings, making you feel inferior, knocking down your confidence, that's a big factor that abusers like. That's something that they love, knocking down your confidence so you feel you're dependent on them. So you feel like you need them because you're not good enough. The problem's with you. And with mental um, issues, things like moving things around, making you feel like you're the crazy one for, to think the things you do or you're the crazy one to feel the way you do. So when you're trying to explain how things are making you feel, they turn around and say to you, oh my God, you crazy psycho or da da da, like calling your names so straight away. It's like, oh, maybe it is me. Maybe I am doing something wrong, so I shouldn't make so much of an issue. And I feel like emotional and mental abuse is something that happens a lot and you need to be aware where if someone's being extremely controlling and if so, they're constantly belittling you, then that's a, there is a problem and you're being abused emotionally and you need to stand up for yourself. Or if that's not possible and you're scared of your abuser or you don't feel comfortable, then speak to someone. Try and get help. Try and let someone know how you feel because it starts off very small. It might start off with words and digs and snidey comments, but it can grow and it will grow and what happens is it gets more and more like words are like weapons and they could really hurt you so if someone's continuously doing that to you then it will chip down at your confidence and it will eventually break you so before it gets to that and you're noticing the signs and you're aware of them if you're in a position like i said that you can stand up for yourself and speak about it do so if not then make sure that you speak to someone that you trust a friend, a family member, someone that you feel comfortable with and um, make sure that they're aware of the situation. The fourth type of abuse is financial. Financial abuse comes down to having full control over you. If you have your own money or you have access to money or that you can spend it, you are independent. You can 
walk away because you're, you know that you can look after yourself. But if you don't have that support system or if you don't have access to money that you can support yourself, feed yourself and have a roof over your head, then your abuser knows that you're fully dependent on them. Therefore, you cannot physically go anywhere because you don't have the money to. So financial abuse is something that if you're not being allowed to work or if you're getting questioned over your money and your spending, which is yours, then that's something to think about and be weary that do I have full control over this or am I made to feel a certain way about spending my money or not having access to it, etc. So financial control is a big one because you're dependent on your abuser then if you don't have access to money. And the last one, I think um, I came across this and I thought is very re relevant for us today, and that's digital. So we live in a digital world. We all have accounts, email accounts, social media accounts, etc. So if your abuser is checking your emails, checking your messages, wants your passwords, wants or uh, stops you from accessing the internet or being in touch with people, is again a form of abuse. It's your private property and it's your privacy and you have every right to have that. And if they're forcing you to share your details with them or they have access to it and they manipulate you into not speaking up or researching things or just accessing anything digital, social media or emails and things, then that is also a form of abuse because, again, all of it comes down to power and control. So if someone has full control over you, then they just want to cut you off from your friends and your family and from people that may help you. So if you suffer from one or, one or more of these things, you don't have to suffer from all five to qualify. It could just be any one of these things and you feel like you're in an, in an abusive situation, then you'd really don't have to deal with that alone. The first thing would be my advice is to let someone know. Uh, be it a friend or a family, speak about them. Because sometimes if you're going through an argument or something, it's not necessarily an abusive situation. But you may feel that way. So it's about recognizing whether you really are in an abusive situation or not. So it's about speaking to someone and understanding that you don't have to deal with this alone. This happens all the time. Adults, children, people are abused and they don't even realize that they are being abused. So as long as you have the tools or you have the understanding to recognize these things, then there is help available. So I will link a few websites and I will link um, helplines and organizations that deal with these things. And if you feel that you are being a victim of any of these forms of abuse, then please do something about it. It wouldn't go away by itself. You have to take the matters into your own hand and try and seek help and if you're stuck in a position at home right now where you can't get away from your abuser, then it's very important to let someone know what's going on and the situation that you're in. Um, I really hope that this has helped you. Um, it's a very grim topic to actually discuss, but it's something that a lot of us are dealing with at the moment, uh, being um, in isolation at home. So I just wanted to highlight that. Um, so if you are suffering, you are not alone and there is help available and I try and link and tag all of them for you. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again soon. Mwah.